Just Coastline? You are now rocking with Coastline at G. Who know? Uh, big numbers and all that. Good. Yeah. You know what it is? G. Da. Uno. Shout out to Coastline. Numbers and all that. Shout out to the double S. Love. I can't help a morning. I'm feeling myself feel ya. Woke up real dangerous. Ain't too many niggas that can hang with us. Uh. Sleep they like stay tight, just how I like, and I just might be on. Yeah, we on whenever we linger. It's a riot, and I'm on a brink of getting off. Now, this is my exit, and I'm up next, like I'm second. Yeah, if you don't know, I've been on one with the go toes, kicking shit, and no, I ain't missing shit, and no shoddy missing it, like a sick day. And it's only on a sixth day So if I'm out in the mouth She really pray me like a Sunday But I'm off on the runway Getting back to the bag Cause I need it in the worst way I can't help a morning I'm feeling myself, yeah, yeah Woke up real dangerous Ain't too many niggas that can hang with us uh. I can't help a morning I'm feeling myself, yeah, yeah Woke up real dangerous Ain't too many niggas that can hang with us it goes one with it, two with it, three with it, who with it? I need top like new fittings in your box like gas. Get you coming right back, get you jumping right about your socks. I'm intellectual when it comes to the wordplay. And I'm killing on the microphone, and I'm sexual whenever I'm at your girl's place. Have you dripping at the mic alone, the mic alone. Dean with the rounds, I'ma need some ice to bone. Never spend a night alone, so it's up with it. Come through, and your girl to get ran through like drum low whenever we at camp. Cool, I could then fool, get wild like bad bones Go home and start acting brand new See me, O-N-E, motherfucker been on But you still ain't heard about me One, I can't help a morning I'm feeling myself, yeah, yeah Walk a real dangerous Ain't too many niggas that can hang with us uh. I can't help a morning I'm feeling myself, yeah, yeah Real dangerous, ain't too many niggas that can hang with us. I can't help a morning, I'm feeling myself, yeah, yeah. Walk up real dangerous, ain't too many niggas that can hang with us. I can't help a morning, I'm feeling myself, yeah, yeah. Walk up real dangerous, ain't too many niggas that can hang with us. Yeah. yeah. He's there. Appreciate it, numbers. Cause shit, I'm at my guy came through. And fuck that was you blessed the stage really good, bro. Appreciate you, buddy. For real, appreciate it. Tell us about the song. You just dro- did. You just drop the song, by the way. Uh, I dropped the song in June. Okay. Yeah, it's called um, "I Can't Help It." It was my first like feel good type music single that I ever did. It's my second single I dropped like since I've been on my own. Like I've been I've been with a band for like eight years. Okay, what band? Is Suspect Dead. Oh, I reached out to them. They're supposed to be coming too. Yeah, so we, we're trying. You know, we got to get our live performance down first. So you're actually still part of the. the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, really? oh, yeah, shit. I'm still with them. Yeah, yeah they, bro, man, they fully support me. Yeah, they dropped a single recently too, right? We just uh, we just dropped the album. Oh yeah, as we yeah. Man, we just dropped the album uh, July 30th. It's on all platforms. It's called Running Back. Okay. You and know, you're, so you're the you're the rapper of the of the, of the group. One yeah, of the one of the uh, one of the main artists on the group. Yeah, so so th- yeah, bro, that shit was hard. Shout out FC three came through, got on the pads. That performance was hard, man. Yeah, man, he was tired. Like, he was he was killing it, bro. It's a little different sounds to the original, right? Yeah, like, for yeah, real different. Yeah, there some stuff. them shakers was gone. I was <laughs> I like trying to hold myself from uh, dancing. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> like yo, I'm like, hey. <laughs> So so is that like is that you said this is the first first feel good song or is, yeah like uh, I dropped really the, I dropped another single prior to that and that was just kind of more like a like a how you say a meaningful song for me you know okay. what I'm saying just like a breaking breaking my shell like um, from the band you know what oh, saying? okay 
So that was like like just the uh, foot off, like just to mm-hmm. start as a solo artist. Yeah. Okay. And I noticed you you have like some some music videos in Arizona, Utah. Is that like where you you have family out there? Yeah, man. Kinda, like... I I got family everywhere. Uh, my older brother and a bunch of my cousins stay in Arizona. Uh, I got a bunch of little brothers that stay in Utah. I actually record in Utah. Like oh, I yeah. fly out there to record. Like my mom and my 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 mom and my sister live in Utah. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. Whereabouts? Uh, West Jordan. Oh, yeah, that's not too far. My brother's in West Jordan. And then some homies I grew up with uh, here in Peter Simone as well. They moved. They moved out to uh, Utah in like 2002, and they're out there. Every time I go out there, we visit. Oh, we visit nice. Who? Yeah. How was that? Who is it? Uh, uh the, the last name Salomona. I don't know if you know Salomonas. Sounds super familiar. Yeah. You never know, man. It's yeah, small, I know. Small, small so, community. Yeah, so you're small, right? <laughs> yeah. And then say, uh, pronounce your name exactly, because I don't think I said it. Uh, G Uno. G Uno. Yeah. Is there like a some meaningful to that, or is this um, I took, always been that? I took the G from my previous name with the band. It was uh, G Up, which is like uh, a play on words for Gup. Oh, okay. It's like uh, my everyday name, and then um, Uno because I'm the one. Mm. You know what I mean? Damn, that's right. So I'm gonna take a shot to that. Yeah, bro. man. Hey, take a shot for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a shot with you, but I don't really drink. Is there any more beer? I don't drink like at all. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn, that's dope. I actually never drank before. Really? Yeah. I've never drank before. And, uh, so you never tried it? Nah, I never tried it, bro. So you don't have blackout stories or nothing like that? Nah, I just got like blackout anger stories. Oh, yeah, bro. Uh, my guy, uh, Josh, put me on you. He's like. Let's get this guy in there. Like, man, I, I heard that song. I heard the one. I, I don't know exactly what the name was, but it was the one that starts like in Arizona. You're like at a house in Arizona. Yeah, that was. Uh, oh, that's that one. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another one, the Utah one, right? Oh, uh, not living. Not living. Yeah, that was a collective song I did with uh, one of my bros and. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> So uh, you you've been you, is are these spots you go and travel to and like perform or so you you recently went to Utah and uh, perform out there right? Yeah man, I had um I had two shows back to back weekends on the 14th and the 21st. On the 14th, I had a show with my boy Etu, and it wasn't even like a real show. It was like just a man. It was a, it was a movie man. Like he he threw he put on the show, put together some artists, and he performed in between each artist. So just one continuous show, like. And oh, it that's was, dope. So he was like the headliner, but he just. I wasn't even a headliner, like. No, he, he was a headliner. He just performed in between each yeah, artist. Yeah, oh, that's dope. So he he went on. Someone went on, and he went, and then someone. It was else, like, like like a little bar or something, like a. No, nah, I was at a venue. A venue. A venue. Yeah, it was cool. How's man. Utah as far as like COVID and all that? It's pretty much open. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care at all. Yeah. <laughs> they don't. They do not care, bro. Yeah, I haven't been out there. Oh, you know, actually, Nathaniel, uh, the guy behind the board, he 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 was raised out there. Oh yeah, whereabouts, bro? Oh yeah, man. I feel it. You had a little buzz out there too as an artist. That's right. Yeah, bro. Yeah, and then he moved down here now. He's with me now. Uh, yeah, I like I like Utah, bro. It's dope. Yeah, no, I definitely. I don't. I wouldn't say I like Utah, but I love to visit my peoples in Utah. I think that's exactly what I yeah. meant to say. Cause, cause <laughs> I, I definitely don't I like mean, Utah. <laughs> I meant to say, it, bro, cause cause I I don't like the cold, bro. I don't have a pair of pants. I mean, these were pants like two hours ago, and I just cut them off. I be doing the same, bro. My <laughs> brother be getting mad here. I was like, time to make some shorts. Yeah, bro. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I went on my, my cousin's wedding on Sunday, and, and then I cut some slacks, bro. I cut Got some it, pants. Bro. I, I don't really I get cool. I get like, you know, claustrophobia with it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I can't, I can't do the cold. I go out there in the cold, and I just stay inside, you know what I mean, kick it. My mom, you know, if, you know, all those homemade meals, bro. You can't live without. I feel that, man. Shout out to Speaking Miles. of homemade meals, I know I know Simone's get down with the food, too, right? Yeah, man. Bro, let's I, talk about the culture, man. Let's hear it. That's why I'm hefty, dog. <laughs> like, I never used to be like this, too, yeah. man. But, you know, it's just... So man, what's, one of the, like, what's one of the, like, the go-to uh, <laughs> meals in, in, in small culture? Uh, rice and meat. Rice and meat, <laughs> rice with everything. Huh? Man, like I'm like, don't get me wrong, like I'm Samoan, right? But like, I'm American too. Oh really? Okay. <laughs> like my mama didn't raise me on uh, like our five Samoa culture because she didn't want us to struggle with like how things are in America. You know what I'm saying? So it was a uh, we had a different upbringing than most of my cousins. What uh, what part of what part of LA do you grow? I'm from Carson. Carson. Yeah. So did, you were influenced by like. The Asian community and the Mexican community at all, uh, like as far as like culture, like food wise. It was in, 
Cause like my mom, my mom was the same way when it came to like feeding us. Yeah. She fed us all types of different like Italian food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we ate everything. Yeah, because Italian because like... Pedro is like heavily Italian uh, community, yeah. so she learned like pastas and like lasagnas and shit like that. Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, we was a, ate. we would eat everything, bro. For yeah. real, my brothers is big as hell. They way bigger <laughs> than me. Uh, they probably get mad if they saw this, but. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> how was the uh, how was the uh, the weather out there in Utah when you went? It was cool. It's starting to cool down now. It's hot as hell for real. Like it's just, I can't stand the heat out there, man. It's like dry heat. You know what I'm saying? You get out the shower, you just ashy for no reason. Yeah, for it's like it's disgusting. But uh, it's it's starting to cool down. I'm actually going back um, in next in two weeks. Got a recording session out there. And by the way, if you need some studio time out here, bro, we, we have a studio man, back there, Man, that's what I was inquiring about. I was Shit, trying to, trying to work. trying to man, get everyone that comes in. Yeah. Because I know people go to Hollywood and all, like, I know they go to uh, Red Room as well. Like, Garden yeah, yeah. That. But we're working on it, making it a little better and better, you know, so we could cater man, Red, to all the Red artists. Red Room's cool. I've been to Red Room before. It's just like, for me, it's just like, it's cool going there. There's a cool studio. It's just like, not for me. I feel you. Shit me. Well, what uh, what's the process of writing when it comes to like, do you write at home? Do you write in the studio? Do you like to just like have them send you the beat, come to the studio ready? Man, honestly, it's it's all of that. Like, sometimes I'll be driving and I'll just be freestyling and then like I'll come up with like some random bars and I'll just jot it down real quick. Or uh, <clears throat> I'll see something online, like a, a beat that I like and I'll just listen to it like over and over and over and I'll come up with some stuff. Uh, sometimes I can't even write until I get into the studio, until I'm in that creative space. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? I got to really, like, lock into whatever the vibe of the song is. Um, but it's all of that. Like, Do you play any instruments? Uh, nah. No? Nah. I just, you know, it's crazy, well, Like, I can hear everything, like, how it's supposed to sound, like, how I want it to sound. But, like, I can't. It doesn't translate to my fingers or to my have you Have you seen that? It's like a new app or something, bro. You grab a mic. And then you like hum, like the strings, and then you the strings are created. And then you like beatbox the drums, and you could create a whole beat with your mouth. Have you seen that? Nah, it's crazy. That's a lot of mouth activity. No, but it's like, <laughs> like you program your mouth like when you go out, oh do a snare, you know what I'm saying? When you do like hmm, or do like strings, and then you create a whole beat from scratch. That's for people that like you, like you said, you create something in your head, but you can't. Yeah. Do make your fingers do it. It's probably like really expensive too. Probably I don't know. I just it came on. It came, it came up as a, as a uh, promotion. You know those fucking. Uh, uh, oh, the little ad. The new app that does this. You feel me? Use your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, honestly, I wanna uh, like I said, shout out my boy Josh and thank you for coming by, man. Yeah, of course, this was a man. fucking dope experience we had we had a vibe here today though we had man, some it, was, it was tight bro honestly i didn't expect that bro. yeah that was my we had a little technical difficulties from a different uh episode that we had to redo so that's what we we're doing earlier today but all right so we got what do we what do we got as far as you as a solo artist moving forward um i've already shot a few music videos that are being edited right now because i'm coming out with like a um, I'm dropping the album the end of September, and then I'm dropping the second part of the album for that. And the first part is like called a Project or something? Yeah. The first part is called Project One, and um, it's mainly hip hop, you know what I'm saying? A bunch of feel good tracks, but like it varies like all different types of hip hop, you know? And then the second part, Project 1.5, is going to be like all R&B joints. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn. So. I'm excited, man. It's been a long time. I recorded all last year. Like, didn't drop nothing all last year. It, is it is it hard to like not do both at the same time, like R and B and hip hop? Yeah, because man, I just be wanting to sing. That's what I'm saying. Like, when you're rapping, you probably want to sing. When you sing, you probably want to rap yeah, too, right? Definitely. It's hard to like uh, discipline myself to just stick to the, you know. Yeah. I I just. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I just uh, made a country song too. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Damn. Yeah, so, performing song. here on the next episode, bro. That's Man, probably I'm, the only genre that I'm thinking. Like, I'm who am I gonna bad. call for country? Because I want that. I mean, I don't want. It's gonna be like a multicultural fucking. You know. Uh, <laughs> I want. We're gonna have reggae artists in here. We're gonna have a Mexican artist in here. So we're just trying to figure out the country part. I think we just found them. I'm down. Mm. So did you do the accent and everything, or what? Yeah. You did. Yeah. Show us. Show us. What <laughs> <laughs> we want to hear, bro. The, uh, what's the word? <laughs> wait, can I, I, play? I, can, I can play yeah, it. Yeah. I can play it, bro. Yeah, this is a great. Wait, you have a video for it already? Nah, but I got it on my phone. Yeah, yeah play it, bro. I can play it, bro. Damn, so you just got you. like in character and everything. Yeah, bro. I, with, um, man, because I love country, bro. Yeah. Like, I love country. I'm a Damn, big country head. Crazy. You're a country head, bro? Yeah, bro. Country's tight, bro. Yeah, no, I, I mean, yeah. I feel you. I just tired, can't relate, bro. but. Right here, bro. It's music. I love it. It's a good plus for Mike. Boy, that's a, hey, is that a real plug? Like, original beat or like a YouTube beat? I bought it. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I bought it. Somebody, somebody's original. It's original beat. now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I buy it. That I ain't one thing, it's another. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, you know, I, you know, that's, I, that's it. <laughs> that's all I wanted to hear, bro. That little accent, bro. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> it's that I ain't one thing. <laughs> that's G Uno right oh, there. Oh, still has, that's I'm, still you. Yep. Okay. That's me. That's G Stapleton. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know what? That's crazy. I was talking about this with other artists, like. There's a there's there's certain boxes that people you know you want to make sure you don't get boxed in with in, in a in a genre or whatever. Yeah. There's certain genres that if you get boxed in, Man, you, that you can't get out. Yeah. You think island reggae? And island, island reggae is definitely one of them. I mean, no disrespect that. to all my island reggae peoples. I have a lot of people that's in island reggae. I mean, that's cool. That's like for you. With the other artists, like the Chicano rap shit. Yeah. A lot of people ain't even Chicano rappers, but they're Mexican, so they just throw them in that box. You know what I'm saying? So that's what. Do you, do you get thrown in that island reggae box? Yeah, man. If I ever want to do a reggae song, boom, boom. it's over. Or just be an island. You think? Yeah. It's just, just being an islander, you think you get thrown in there? Yeah, man. Well, we get thrown in a uh, different. It's called a. Uh, we as uh, Polynesians we call ourselves poly artists. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be trying to tell my people, because like, I have a lot of uh, bros and sis like that. They're all like Polynesians, you know what I'm saying? Tongan, Samoans, all that. And uh, we all do music, but we constantly label ourselves as uh, poly artists. Okay. And I try to tell them, like, we got to get away from that mindset, man, because we box ourselves in. Like, we're yeah. not poly artists, we're artists who happen to be poly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because you, we don't want to just stick to that market. You know, of just Polynesians, bro. We got a whole world. We're like the smallest percent of the world. Yeah. So that's I mean, what I be trying. Well, to I mean, with that country track, bro, you gonna you gonna fly out of that box for sure. Yeah, I'm trying to <laughs> get out of here, boy. Hey, are you are you seriously trying to like make that a song? Like, yeah, I already, like, yeah, I'm dropping it. Like, how are you gonna do the video? You're gonna be all country countryed out? I don't know, man. Because the song is called Southern California, oh, okay. and I'm a small rapper. Bro, doing it's, gonna, a country it's gonna song. do it's gonna do numbers. I already know. You know it's stage coach. Man, I, I'll oh, be down, bro. That's just gonna do down, bro. That might be even your, if it's just one song. Even if it's just one song, I'll be down. Let's go. It'll be cool to like have like the whole everyone else all country down except you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, honestly, I'm gonna be regular, bro. I would bro, dress regular. I really want to hear that track now, bro. Like the whole thing. Yeah, no, after the show for sure, I'll play it. Just for us, though. And then besides besides country, is there anything else we don't we don't uh, man. expect from you? You know, doing and you out there doing. <laughs> You're not doing Mexican music or nothing. Like that, hey, bro, you give me a beat, I'm with it. <laughs> Throw the guitar I'm with it. In I'm it. down, man. But yeah, nah, it's just that. That's just, that's the craziest thing that I did outside of hip hop and R&B. This country, but it's because you're you're actually a fan of it, yeah, right? Yeah, it's because I really love country. We were sitting in the studio and we had some downtime, and I was like, "Can we do a country song?" And then we just looked up. So you did like a tight beat, yeah, type, and then you just, just bought did. it. Yep. Yeah, that was always... the first one I heard. I was just like, "Oh, that's it. I don't hear nothing else." Yeah. Damn, that shit sound. Really, I might be a country fan after that one, bro. You might give me the stagecoach twenty fucking tw twenty two, right? Oh, it's twenty one. They are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Yeah, you be going out there? I'm gonna try to perform. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> gonna open up, huh? Somebody, yeah. let me, let me. So what's up? You got? You said you got the the album coming out. Yeah. Uh, and then a one point five album, the mm -hmm. R and B. Uh, do you have any singles dropping? Uh, Soon? Yeah, man. I got one more single that I'm gonna drop before the album. It's called um, "I'm Okay." Okay. Yeah. And it's similar to this vibe, or yep, different? Similar yeah. to "I Can't Help It." 
little singing and hooks mm-hmm. and, and then rapping. It's just like feel good melodic rap. How, how'd you uh, how'd you come up with? I mean, how'd you how'd you start doing that type of? Uh, do you like? Were you influenced by people that? Yeah, were man. Because like you know, right now I think what right now what's popping is melodic hip hop. You know, That's like true. melodic rap. Anything that has like a cool melody, like bars. You don't even need it like big bars. Like, yeah. To to get by, bro. Like people just say whatever as long as it's catchy. Like they want to sing to it. Yeah. So you know, I really had to like dial back and dumb down my bars, like to to get into this like vibe of of hip hop. So like you in the group that we're talking about, you were more of a like a spitter. Yeah. 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 On, okay. So you had to dumb yourself, like dumb it down a little bit. Bro, I got to dial back all the way. I mean, it's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, it's what's, all, it's what's popping. Like, Blast, he's killing, bro. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? I was just trying to, like, how can I kill it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <that's> <laughs> Let me just way. ride this wave real quick yeah. and then see what happens. And then I'll be able to, you know, get back on my, my real rap, hip-hop stuff. So this whole, like, you, uh, you're you releasing all these videos on uh, your own page? or you? Yeah, Yep, on YouTube. Well, shout out your YouTube page. And yeah, all that, bro. YouTube.com slash it's gonna be GX somewhere right Uno. Here, right? Somewhere, over somewhere right here, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GX Uno. Okay. And you did all this after the, uh, just like leaving, or I ain't going to say leaving the band, but like just branching out? Yeah. This is all new. Yeah, it all happened because of COVID. You know, like um, even before COVID, like with the band, I had my f- one foot in with music. I was uh, cutting hair. I was a barber. You know what I'm saying? And I just felt like I was losing passion for one of them. I didn't know which one. And then COVID hit and I couldn't cut hair no more. And I wasn't same, I wasn't even bothered. Same thing same thing with our camera guy, bro. Yeah, you already know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I I couldn't even cut hair no more. So I was just like whatever. I wasn't bothered by it. I didn't want to cut hair. And it uh found out that studios are still open. So I flew to Utah because Utah was open. Bro, coastline's open, my guy. I'm trying to tell you. I just found out. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm with it though. I'm with hey, it. Hey, how's this? How's the how's the music scene out there? It's it's popping right yeah. now. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it becomes like a big capital for music soon. Really? Yeah, because wow. it's it's popping right now. Wow. Does it have its own like flavor and shit? Like they they sound different or? Nah. No. Nah. It's crazy, huh? Like before, like. You had to go somewhere to hear something different. Now, just the internet just makes you. You could just uh, uh, hear someone's music and just get yeah. something from it. You know, you could definitely without tell. Even going over. You could definitely tell like uh, people that do different types of music, like in hip hop from uh, the West Coast to the Midwest to the South, yeah. Florida boys. You know, like everybody does. But like Utah is right along with California. Like, oh yeah, as yeah. Far we're, as, like, we're West Coast, yeah, right? they still yeah. West Coast. Yeah, we had a we had a guy. Uh, what's his name from U ninety two? Trey Rocker. He he uh he reacted to his video. Oh yeah. Yeah, his video's hard, bro. You need to check it out. I do need to check it out. Actually, Trey Rocker needs to check your shit out too. I don't know if he has. Yeah. Has he? He needs to go to uh, basements. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, so my 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 family has a podcast out in Utah. Yeah. Yeah, they're called uh, Lake Talk eight hundred one. Uh-huh. I told Josh about it. Did you reach out? Yeah, next time you go to Utah, try to lock it in, bro. I'm down. Well, he's coming. He's just coming with me. Yeah, Lake Talk 801. They do. They do like small businesses and like artists around. It's not just music. It's a little bit of everything, you know. But they're connected with U92 as well. Man, that's tight. Hell yeah. yeah. Utah's dope, bro. Like, nah, like it, I said, is, man. I, gotta... I just like going to visit my mama. But other than that, it's cold. <laughs> it's crazy. They're they're Hot. on a they're on a big come up, man. I got a bunch of bros out there. That is just killing the game. Shout out to all my boys, Bobby B Mag, Venom Moon, Fat Boy, Bay Max, all my boys in the wavy. Like, it's crazy right now. Do you do you go to uh, Washington as well, or just there's other states you go around here, like Oregon, Washington, or nope. just mostly Utah? Just Utah. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> I'm just asking for all the like West Coast states. You know what I'm nah, man, that's too far. Utah, yeah. like just like a little nine hour drive or a half hour and a half flight. Yeah. It's just smooth. You think you'll be able? Uh, you'll be going uh, overseas soon. Man, to, like, hope New Zealand and all. Hopefully, that shit? they hopefully. love all that shit. They, huh? Yeah, I, they love me out there. <laughs> Do they really? Yeah, they 
they love you. For real, you get a lot of you gotta love out there. Yeah, yeah. That, that's you know the box saying? though, right? That's not in reggae, the capital or all that. Nah, right? man. You know what's crazy? The hip hop artists and you t- and uh, overseas like Australian New Zealand, they're killing like Polynesian wise. Like the Polys out there, they they do big numbers out there for. Yeah, it's like a like. Should a, I say for no reason? For no reason, bro. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's a good way to put it. For no reason, they're just fucking. Hey, bro. <laughs> So, I didn't even go, oh, so how, how you, bro? Has your, music, <laughs> how, has, how you, has your solo music reached out there yet? <laughs> yeah. Like the radio stations and shit? Or nah, no? nah. Just like, you know, people here and there. Like commenting on, on yeah. YouTube and shit? That's because of Twitter, man. Twitter, man, I say tapped in with a lot of people from overseas. And uh, they, they love my music. So. Damn. It may be like five of them, but those five hey, love those my music. five is real, bro. <laughs> hey, I remember, bro, uh, I have a website for the, for the store. And I got a, a sale from Australia. Yeah. It was just one sale. It was only 20, 25 bucks. But I was amazed. I was like, That's my tight. shit's going to be in Australia. You know what I'm saying? I was just beginning. So, I mean, it starts with one, and then boom. Boom. So, man, uh, we, we want, like, next next single you drop, you got to come back. Yeah, I'm with you that. Cool with that? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I'm with that, bro. Yeah. And then uh, hopefully we get some more shit going. Man, bro. you got to so, get some singers in here. Yeah, I mean, you should probably brought your background I, singers. You know what? Bro. Hey, I got some, I got some singers. Like my brother uh, E who sings, kill it. The goal is to get like a whole band out here playing live with my guy on the pads. That's like the next step, though. Suspect at says hey they we in they the, told me that we in the process they told me that they were they want to do an acoustic show because I guess they had like something happened with their band member or something. Yeah. So I was Duh. like. I was like, I don't want to do an acoustic show. I want to do a real live performance. You know what I'm saying? So nah, like, all right, yeah, we'll we get, get back nah, at I mean, you. We got, we got practice on Saturday, so I'll make sure to chop yeah, it up. Yeah, man, get them in there. That, that song you guys draw, what's it called? Something about a drink, right? Oh, One Cup. One Cup. There one you go. Cup. Yeah, man. She's hard. She's hard. One Cup is tight. Are you on it? Yeah, I uh, wrote the... I wrote the song. <laughs> oh, you wrote the song. Damn, bro. Nah, I'll just That's be telling like... everything you know, say, nah, nah, nah. I wrote, a, I wrote a, uh, the words for the chorus, and uh, my band was laughing at me because I don't drink. So they're like, how do you even oh, know about this? Oh, shit. So you, like, you, you, you know how to put yourself in a, like, a different position. Yeah, man, place. I see it all the time. So you could write a movie type yeah, shit. Yeah, I could. Like, we could write a... Man, speaking of movies, uh, man, I just got asked to do a little uh, Netflix movie. Really? Yeah. Hey, Netflix owes me $600. Yo, pay my man. Hey, they filmed a movie out here, bro. They blocked out my whole store, and they're like, yeah, we'll pay you. Here's the fucking form. It's been six, six weeks. Damn. I can talk to someone for you. I'm about to be on Netflix next year. Really? No, I got the number already. They're like, it shouldn't be here. Man, it's 600 bucks. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, uh, so, so Netflix hit you up about a movie. No, so uh, one of the guys that filmed uh, my one of my R&B music videos, uh, he hit me up. Uh, he's been writing the short film. He talked to his mentor about it. His mentor told him to make it to a whole movie. And uh, Netflix contacted him, and they're just going to run with it. And so we're about to be shooting the movie You'll probably soon. be shooting on 6th Street, bro. They shoot on this street. Netflix shoots on this street, like, every month. For real? They did. You know that, that show called uh, You? Yeah. It was next door. Our gallery was next door. Oh, that's tight. That's where you killed that girl. I never sure watched you, it. Oh, no, yeah. He killed, like, six girls in that I never watched show. it. it, was, it was, like a, that was like a sucker <laughs> show for real. I never watched uh, I, uh, t- t- uh, let us know uh, get them, You know You got some shout outs You got people You want to mention Out here Man shout out to all my numbers Numbers You know what I'm saying it's Hold on, so what, what, Explain that Numbers man So What's the number one thing You value in life Are you asking me Yeah uh, My family How many people In your family Damn We're deep How many You know what's crazy you Eight So my actual brothers And numbers. sisters were eight So we run with eight For that reason Numbers Damn there you go Damn so that's what what's, it means. What's the number one wow. thing you value your life? That's bro? deep. Same family, see? Numbers. Anybody else got a different answer? How many guys you worship? Numbers. Numbers. Damn. Bro, what the fuck? Everything, I'm a shot for that. Everything in this life, whatever you think about, what stands behind it, it's numbers. So that's what you mean by numbers. Yeah, man, it's big strength behind numbers. And there's uh me and my brothers, there's ten of us that we got, we got this whole little numbers thing going. And each one of us got like uh, specialized in a different category. Mm-hmm. Like I got, so I'm one, mm-hmm. right? You're the oldest. We ain't gotta go there. Oh no! <laughs> no, I, I thought you meant I'm one as a like. On the nah, 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 nah. No, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm one though. Okay, you okay. Feel me? And I got my brother two right here with the LA hat. Okay, he's and your I brother, got all right? My brother nine right here. Okay, 
Okay. So nine, he's so my he has number. My, yeah, that's my that's my DJ. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Two, he's the first professional Samoan gaming athlete. Yeah, I was told that earlier. Man. The first professional Samoan gaming. Hey, I got another podcast called The Hot Seat, bro. You need to come during the daytime. We talk about random shit. Yeah, I'm with it. Yeah, do you do you drink? Or are you like uh, no, I, no, just because we randomly <laughs> drink. <laughs> Numbers. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that's deep. Yeah, so, man. So shout out to my brothers can be here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, zero. You know, all of them. <laughs> 220. 220 in the back. <laughs> uh man, shout out to uh my my team, my my boy Josh Brumfield. Shout right out there. Josh, Josh Brumfield. Um Joe Tanavasa. Uh Poasi. <laughs> Oh uh, my! Hey man, I went out to Utah for my birthday, August six, bro. And uh, I happy went late out birthday, with, by the way. Appreciate bro. you, appreciate you. Big Leo vibes, you know the deal. Um, I went out with my bro Puasi. <laughs> He's still out there, man. Yeah, he, wait, what the hell? Yeah, your ass him home. <laughs> wait, you guys left him out there? He's grown. He's a dog. So he just loved it. He's what? out there. He's just and he. <laughs> yeah, come man. On, I bro. can't be in Utah that long, bro. Man, me too, man. I thought so too, but I had stuff to do. But you know, it was cool. For no, I'm saying your homie's still out there. That's like he whole is month. just li- he's just living his <laughs> best life. Whole month. I love it. <laughs> I love it, man. <laughs> your camp numbers was good. Tell us, tell us something. Tell us what's coming. Tell us all your social your social media. Yo, you YouTube. follow me on uh, Instagram at Gupness G U P P N E S S on Twitter at Gup underscore D O E. Um, don't follow my Snapchat. Don't follow Snapchat. It's not for you. It's not yeah. for you. It's not for everybody. Uh, it's not for everybody. Follow my OnlyFans, onlyfans.com slash GX. I they shut that shit down, <laughs> Didn't they shut it down like, like last week or is that a false alarm? I think they took out the pornography part oh, of it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So my account will be canceled, <laughs> unfortunately. It's okay. Um, <laughs> go to Twitter. You, you, are you a signed artist? Uh, nah, independent, independent? I'm independent. 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 You got a whole team, a I do. production team. I do or? got a whole team, man. Shout out to you all. You have the, a name? For, is, is it like under a name? Is it numbers? Nah, it's, it's numbers? just they just rock with me. You okay. know what I mean? It's love with them. That's right. You know what I mean? Um, shout out to my family, man. Uh, you know, shout out to my mom's rest in peace to my mom. You know, I just lost rest my mom. Oh, so sorry to hear that. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, man, I can't really think of nothing off the top of my head right now, but. If I forgot you, I'm sorry. Not really, but sorry. Well, let's get let's get some, you know, follow the man. It's going to be something right here. Or yeah, something, something right here. You know, I never heard that before. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, look Ricky, out for my album, too. It? Album. My album. What's the date? Uh, sometime in September. I don't have to put dates on things because then you're, like, super pressured to get it done by this date, and something always happens. For you know sure. Saying? So I'm just shooting for the end of September. You know, if not then, then we'll figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I'll hey, do thank- like a like a three week promotion thing for, for it. Sure. Too. Hey, thanks a lot for coming by, man. Yeah, man. And, thanks and for I, having me. I was talking about like when we did, when we hit a year, we're gonna, you know, do like a group, like a little show, like all the artists that came through. You Hell know? yeah! So you're gonna have to come back somehow. Big love and hip hop vibes. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You mean like a sit? She, she oh, that's why you just mentioned that. Like like a sit down with all the artists. No, I was talking about like a like a show. You know what I mean? Like a concert. Like oh, a like a concert. concert. Like an intimate concert with like 40, 20, 30 people in the audience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm down. I think that's, that would be, you know, not a sit down. I think that would be, you know, that'd be kind of crazy. Huh? <laughs> Throwing fucking shit. <laughs> Tyga, she smashed yeah. the hub. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I appreciate you coming by, man. I, man, uh, thanks for having me, bro. You got real. down, bro. You're, I'm, a, I'm a fan now, for appreciate sure. Appreciate you, brother. Hell yeah. I drink with you, but I don't drink. So. Damn. But I got my sweet tea. Sweet Shout out to this label that I'm not getting paid for. Yeah. And hey, we got some unofficial sponsors here, obviously. We got some Hennessy. We got Patron. We got... What is that, AP? I don't know. But yeah. All right. We out. Yeah. You know what it is. G. Da. Uno. Shout out to Coastline. Numbers and all that. Shout out to the double S. Look. Myself, yeah, yeah. Woke up real dangerous. Ain't too many niggas that can.